So I am recording this webinar, uh, so we can post it to our, um, we can go ahead. I, I understand with the Zoom link, we're going to post this to our YouTube channel and um, everyone will be able to see it then. It looks like the Zoom link is working for a good chunk of people. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. And at the end, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the um, the Q&A section for any questions you might have. Uh, I can see them and Ms. Allens Martin can see them as well. So you can ask in English or Spanish, uh, that little Q&A on the bottom. Uh, so we have seven things we're talking about tonight. Here's our table of contents, uh, and we'll go through each item uh, relatively quickly. Um, and then again, at the end of each item, I will ask for questions and answers so that we don't move on to the next topic without answering your questions. So our first topic is all of the calendared items that are coming up. Uh, so we are clearly we're getting toward the end of March. Uh, today is the 22nd. Uh, we have just finished the spring play and we're getting ready for spring break. And after spring break, we have a lot going on in April. Uh, we do have some uh, some senior meetings for our students. So on the 5th, that is next week or the, the week that we get back from spring break on Wednesday, the 5th, we do have a mandatory senior meeting. And at that meeting, we'll be giving most of our students the same information that you're getting tonight. So you're getting a bit of a sneak preview and we'll happy to you know, answer any questions that your students might have on that date. Prom is coming up on Saturday the 8th. Tickets are already for sale. Uh, so you'll want to talk with your student about tickets if they haven't thought about it already. And then we do have one mandatory uh, science test for all of our seniors on Wednesday, April 12th. Um, it is the California science test. 95% of our students need to take it. Um, that's our, our baseline requirement. And we give that test to our seniors because they need to take three, three science classes or have the opportunity to have taken three complete science classes before they take that test. Um, so we are going to use time when all of the juniors are taking their uh, their um, CASP test and offer it to seniors. So they're not missing class time. It'll be first thing in the morning. I understand that some students may be out as they are um, observing uh, Passover, uh, those last couple of nights of Passover, and we're happy to work with those students accordingly. I know there's a lot of family gatherings that happen at that time, and we want to make sure that our students are well supported there. So more information to come on that. And then we get into May, <laughs> which is very, very busy. Um, the first two full weeks of May, our, um, our AP testing window. Um, and that is pretty traditional. College Board always offers AP tests the first two full weeks of May. So this year it starts on May 1st and we'll roll right into um, Friday, May 12th. Uh, any students who are ill or need to take advantage of the makeup AP testing days, that will happen the following week on the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Hopefully your students won't need that. They'll get to take their tests uh, during the first round, but it's there. And then you can see there's a whole list of other items on here, uh, different events for students in different activities. From Senior Activity Day, that's for all of our seniors. Uh, the Donnies are awards for our drama students. We will have senior awards for recognizing academic achievement for all of our seniors. Athletic awards will be on the 17th. And then on the 19th, we celebrate Senior Sunset. So at the beginning of the year, we have Senior Sunrise. We bring all of the seniors together in center court. And it's a nice event for them to be together. And, you know, they have donuts and they play games and listen to music and just have some time to enjoy each other's company. And this kind of closes that 
that loop for students. So they have one more chance to be together, have a nice evening to themselves uh, in center court. And we will have um, food for them. It depends on what they want. Last year, the senior class wanted pizza. Uh, so that's what they had. Um, and then that will bring us into that uh, final week of school with final exams and graduation practice and graduation. Um, and then grad night, which we'll talk about uh, as we get in uh, toward the end of this presentation. Uh, graduation is on the 25th. Uh, we do ask that students participate in all of the graduation practices so they know what they're doing. Um, it's stressful uh, when you know that your family is watching you and um, that you're going to cross a stage and get a diploma and wonder, you know, which hand do I shake with? Which hand do I take my diploma cover with? So we do, uh, we do practice um, and we giggle a little bit about like, are we really talking about how to stand and how to sit? And we've kind of already got that down, but um, we do take that pretty seriously because we wanna make sure kids feel comfortable uh, as they're walking into the stadium and graduating. So those are our calendar things. I'm um, taking a look at the q and I don't really see anything there. You will get a full copy of this um, by, I would say Monday of spring break, the senior letter will come out with all of this information as well. So the senior meeting, <laughs> this is what we'll talk about. Um, at our senior meeting, and again, this will be uh, in the morning on April 5th, uh, we will talk about the expectations of our students for the remainder of the year. We'll talk about all of the upcoming events that I just went over um, and how to participate. Um, we'll talk about finishing the semester strong because we don't want to leave anybody behind. Um, and we want to make sure that, you know, students are getting their, their acceptance letters right now. We want to make sure that at the end of, of their semester that that letter is still good. Uh, they haven't made a mistake. And then we'll talk about transitioning to college and career and then graduation information. So I do see there's a question in the Q&A for this and it looks like it just got answered, uh, but I know there's gonna be a number of people who have that same question. Um, so the, the question is, um, how do I order the cap and gown? The Jostin website was confusing. Uh, we've already ordered the caps and gowns. Please contact Ms. Kardosh uh, at, the, at our office and she's happy to assist you. What time will the graduation be? Great question, 5.30. <laughs> Thank you for asking that. Um, that's the one bit I didn't put on here. So 5.30, that gives us, um, and I know that I'll get into it just a little bit more with the, uh, the I'll, I'll answer that next question too about how many tickets you get. Um, first things first, I do wanna talk about CAST testing. Um, again, this is that mandatory test. We're required to have at least 95% of the students complete the exam. To make sure that students complete it, um, I do make this part of the senior checkout process. So kids who are preparing to cross the stage, I will ask them um, if they have, uh, if they have uh, completed all of their checkouts. Um, I know there's a question in the in the Q&A right now. It says it looks like only the host can see the questions. I will be reading those questions aloud and answering them for you so everybody sees them. Um, for the test, all of the kids need a charged Chromebook, which is why we keep sending a lot of information about Chromebooks to our kids. And then kids who miss the initial testing date will receive a rescheduling notice and we'll get them in. Um, I'm gonna skip forward just a little bit and come back uh, because I know there are questions about graduation and that's what a lot of you have right now. Um, in terms of the basics for graduation, uh, we will be at the stadium field at 5.30. Uh, that's on Thursday, May 25th. Each family is guaranteed four tickets. Uh, that is because we will have seating for 1,800 people. And we have 438 students potentially graduating if everybody is participating. So um, we, what we do is we will open the gates at 4.30 for seating for families, family members who have tickets. 
and then students will come in. Uh, our graduates will come in and then after the graduates come in and are seated, we open the gates for everyone else to come in and have a seat. We are allowing our students to decorate their caps again this year. Uh, they did a great job last year. We'll talk with your students um, about those cap decorating uh, guidelines. Uh, the four tickets that we give families for graduation are for uh, guests. So our, your graduate already gets to be in there uh, and they get to have four tickets to bring guests. Um, finally, we'll have a little bit more information. We know that some families don't need four tickets. We know that some families need more than four tickets. And so we do put out um, a request form in the event that you need another ticket. And uh, we'll go through those um, as needed. We do give priority to, um, to folks who uh, may have split households and they've been raised by you know two sets of moms and dads and may have, or may have a slightly larger um, uh, sibling family. Um, but for the most part, we try to get everybody in. They may just not all have a seat, um, but we have really comfortable uh, <laughs> we have comfortable uh, lawn areas, and we do allow people to bring in their own seats as long as they meet particular chair requirements. Um, and that is also going to be part of that senior letter that you get. So I'm going to back up uh, to where I had been with um, awards night. So on, this is for senior awards. Uh, the senior awards night is um, put together to celebrate the accomplishments of all of our students. So the way this works is students and families will receive invitations for awards night uh, that honor their accomplishments. Uh, each awards program is just a little different, again, depending on the nature of the program. For senior awards night, we'll be celebrating the final accomplishments of selected seniors. For AVID, we'll have an AVID night as well. That will be celebrating our AVID graduates and the locations that, uh, and the, the different colleges that they will be going to. Uh, the Donnies will be celebrating our actors and our crew. Uh, music awards celebrate all of the musicians and then our athletic awards honor those athletes. I do have another question about graduation. We will, the question is, are there arrangements for handicap seating for elderly family members? Yes, that also will be included in that senior letter. What we do, um, because we are playing with um, the setup of graduation, we will make sure that, um, that our, our families, sometimes we're using the golf cart to bring in families who need a little bit more mobility support so we can get them to a seat quickly. Uh, otherwise, um, we open up the other side gate uh, to bring in families who may need to be dropped off closely. Guests with tickets do get a seat. If you do not have a ticket, you can, um, Cross your fingers and hope there's a seat available, or you can um, you can bring a chair or a blanket and and have something of a picnic. Uh, the music awards. I need to double check with Mr. Chen and Mr. Gallagher. Uh, in the past, they had had a separate music awards night. Uh, last year, they consolidated awards for different students with uh, the last concert of that particular music genre. So. Choir awards were given after the last choir um, uh, concert, and then band awards were given at the last band concert. So I will make sure we have that complete and updated information for you um, when we send out that senior letter. Uh, this year, Stephanie, uh, the question is, will students be on the bleachers? or on the football field like last year. So we know that last year uh, the stage was a little short and in pricing things out, it was difficult uh, to find a stage that was a little taller. So our plan this year is to have the students back on the bleachers and to have our guests on the football field uh, looking at them. And that gives us a little bit more space um, on the sides for our families as well. And then I have another question. Will graduation be live streamed for family members who will not physically be present? 
Uh, right now, um, I do not have uh, live streaming in our budget. What's fascinating about post-COVID times is how much more expensive all of our rentals have become. Um, we'll go ahead and try pricing that to see if we can do it. But when we live streamed a few years ago, it was part of a large package deal that we had. Uh, so we will we will see if we can do it. If we're able to, we'll happily make that link and, and information available. So our seniors, the activities that they have, um, a few things that they should be aware of. Um, the senior sunrise, again, we did that at the beginning of the year. We still have another senior treats day from what I understand. Uh, senior activities day is coming up on the 15th and senior sunset will be on the 19th. So we'll be asking for a little bit of help with senior families to help decorate that. Uh, there are a few links on here if you would like to, um, to donate. I'm just going to copy that, oops, that whole bit here. Um, so that I can put that in the chat for you. And everyone will be able to see that. Valerie, do you mind if I chime in real quick? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, just so families know, I mean, I know we've been collecting donations um, over the year and that's that's what we've been using to pay for the senior sunrise and the treats and so forth that they've been getting every month. Mm -hmm. And what will be, you know, used for the senior activity day in May and the senior sunset as well. Um, but we do have committees that are working on planning those events. And um, there will be opportunities to help out at the events too. So we'll be looking for volunteers to help serve the food and to supervise the activities and things like that. So um, watch your emails for that. Um, if you would like to be involved in planning, just shoot us an email at that email address and we'll um, get you hooked up to those committees. And it's really sweet to see all of the kids together. Uh, so if you've been around the students um, and they've had, you know, a number of close friendships over the years. It's really sweet to see them in those last few events um, together. Uh, I did see one more question in the chat. Um, and this was about um, perhaps families will be willing to donate for a live stream. Absolutely. Um, please go ahead and contact the Aragon Dons 2023 at gmail.com um, and see what we can do um, to support the potential of a live stream. This is where I skipped ahead already. So I know there's a, if there are any more questions about graduation, uh, the actual ceremony, um, I, now's the time to ask. I think logistically what you need to remember um, is that gates will open at 4.30. We will ask that our seniors arrive at 4.30 as well so that they can come into their uh, their gathering places and get themselves ready. Often our students forget um, little things like I lost my tassel or I need pins to hold my hat on or um, my zipper on my gown broke, little things. We wanna make sure that we take care of that with them. Um, so while families are getting themselves seated, our students are having one last moment of getting ready. The uh, The ceremony will start at 5.30 and um, we will go about, I try to keep these things to like an hour and a half to an hour 45. We do have a lot of students' names to call. Um, we keep the speeches uh, pretty short and to the point so that we don't lose our audience interests. And then after graduation, we have uh, grad night, which is why Miriam is here. Miriam, do you want to talk to us about grad night? Sure. <laughs> I'm happy to turn my camera on, but it doesn't let me. So oh, let me <laughs> I am going to control that. I can control that. I always feel like it's weird talking with a, with no face. Oh, yeah. You're kind of the, uh, the, the faceless voice. I'm just going to make you a co-host, Miriam, so you can, okay. you should be able to turn your camera on now. Yeah, awesome. 
Um, okay, so grad night um, this year where the kids will be going to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Um, we're super excited about that. We've heard lots of positive feedback. Um, Hillsdale High School has been doing that um, for the last couple of years, and, and they said the kids have a blast. And um, it's super secure. Santa Cruz provides lots of security and they close off all the access to the beach and everything. And so the kids are only going to be on the boardwalk and um, we're going to have a whole air portion of the boardwalk exclusively just for our kids. So they won't be intermingling with any other schools or anything. It's just for the Aragon um, seniors. And um, the way it works is we have rented buses. They're going to leave basically immediately after graduation. Like they're going to, you know, after graduation, they'll have a little bit of time to take some pictures and stuff with family. And then we're going to leave directly from there. And they're going to board, check in on their buses and they're going to board their buses and they're going to go via bus to Santa Cruz. Um, <clears throat> we are hoping to provide them with some snacks on the buses to tide them over, um, but it's probably a good idea to make sure they eat before graduation because then they won't eat dinner until they get to Santa Cruz, um, which is gonna take a while. So to keep that in mind. Um, and then in Santa Cruz there, they have dinner, they'll have you know sodas and drinks and rides, there's music, there's the arcade, there's a photo booth, there's henna tattoos, you know, all the, all the fun stuff. Um, so we think they're going to have a great time. And then um, I think they leave there and the projection for them coming back is they should be back at school by about three in the morning. So they'll need to be picked up um, at school at that time. And um, tickets are $200 a person and that covers the cost of the, um, you know, all the activities at the boardwalk and the bus transportation and so forth, which was more expensive this year than in years past. Um, so we are trying to account for that. And we do definitely have scholarships available. And if you are interested in a scholarship, just you know, send us an email at that email address, let us know. Um, and you know, we could discuss the details and work that out. But we want to make sure, you know, any kid, anybody who wants to go um, should be able to go. And we want to make sure we we make that happen. Um, and the kids, just to clarify, they have to go on the bus, they can't show up yep. any other way. Um, and they won't be allowed to bring anything on the bus with them, just their cell phones. They can't bring any bags or anything else with them. We'll have, like I said, snacks and water and stuff available for them on the bus. So and Miriam, Miriam, yeah. there's a question that goes along with that. Yeah. Do they need to bring any money to Santa Cruz? Nope. No, everything um, is included. So everything will be included in that. Um, the food and the drinks and the games and all that stuff is all included. Awesome. There's, um, there's another question. Yeah. Uh, there will be multiple schools there and each school will have one part of the boardwalk. The way it works is they've split the boardwalk into two. And so we got, we had first dibs. So we picked the half that we want to be able to use. I actually don't know for sure if there is another school using the other half or not. Um, but that's kind of the way it's done. Um, so we, um, we basically, they just cut it in half, I guess. Okay. Um, next question is, uh, can students leave their car in the student lot for grad night uh, so they can drive home at three after they return on the bus? <laughs> and I said, yeah, <laughs> that's your question. <laughs> uh <-huh. Yeah. laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then, uh, I know this is a, this was one last year that we, uh, made some, accommodations for, uh, and a couple people are asking this question right now. Uh, will kids have the opportunity to change clothes before they leave for grad night? So yeah. oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What we did last year is had students, um, like bring a backpack or their change of clothes and they left it in the gym. And then after graduation, we let them into the locker room so they could change quickly and then find their parents, like hand over their backpack or put their stuff in their car and then get on the bus. Yep. They, they don't leave anything in the locker room because as of graduation, uh, they're no longer an Aragon current student. They turn into an alumni. And, uh, and then when they get on the bus for grad night, it is a, a grad night um, and parent group sponsored event. It's not a school event. So when we shake their hands with their diploma, um, they're alumni. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's a question for you, Miriam. Um, how can I find out if I already paid for grad night? Yeah, just shoot us an email at that Aragon Dons 2023 email address and we can check that for you. 
Okay. So that was a super fast. That was that's my last slide. That's our super any other fast questions? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing so we could answer any other questions that are coming up. This is where we need like the Jeopardy music in the background. Can we get the email again? You betcha. I'm going to put this in the chat so you see it. It has the email and it has the tiny URL for donations. No, I'll just add for um, the grad night. I know last year we ended up having a lot of people that were buying tickets last minute and we ended up having to close ticket sales down because we didn't have enough room on the bus. So we had to get another bus and it was a logistical nightmare. Mm -hmm. So to the extent you know your kids want to go or if they want to go, I would ask that you buy tickets sooner rather than later so we can plan for it. It'll make things a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. And we do want to make sure everybody who wants to go can go. So we didn't want to turn anybody away, but it um, made it made it trickier to do that last minute. Yeah. Uh, here's a question. Um, no phones at grad night. Can they bring their phones? Yeah, they can bring their phones. They just can't bring bags or anything else. Yeah. Phones are the only thing they can bring with them. Yep. So, so wear something with pockets. <laughs> wear is something warm. Yeah. <laughs> with pockets for they can have their keys and they can have their phone and that's all they need. Yeah. Um, next question is, will we have time to take pictures, uh, after the graduation before they leave for Santa Cruz? Um, yeah, I mean, that's the plan. I think, um, we should have, it, it won't be a long time, but I think, yeah, I would say plan on taking pictures, um, at Aragon on site. Um, last year we saw a number of families taking pictures on their way up and then uh meeting their um their student to take pictures together uh, before they changed and got on the bus we did try to calm students down a little bit and we told them last year that you're the graduate like the bus isn't leaving until <laughs> you guys are on the bus um but to kind of you know hurry a little bit as well but you'll they will have time uh, next question, what is Senior Activities Day? What are the activities? <laughs> um, so Senior Activities Day is, um, I don't have all of the details just yet about what's going to happen, but it's usually from 8.30 until lunchtime. So consider it to be like a minimum day. Uh, usually students will bring their yearbooks. They have a chance to have each other sign it. Actually, they where they get their yearbooks, they get it that day. They're getting it well, even yeah. better. Awesome. Yeah. So they'll get their, they do, they get it the day before everybody else does. So they'll get their yearbook and then um, they'll have food. They have like, you know, jumpy houses. There's different activities that are down on the field. We do the senior activities day at Aragon. Um, and again, it's just, it's another time for students to be able to spend a little more time with their, um, their classmates and um, they don't have to worry so much about class that day. Yeah, and uh, the, class, the class council plans all the activities and yes. stuff. The, the senior activities committee, our committee is helping with the food portion of the day. Awesome. Um, can we also check on gown orders uh, through the, the 2023 email? No, um, the gown orders are going to be, I'll put that email um, in the chat as well. This is um, the email for Ms. Kardosh at, uh, at Aragon. She has all of the gown information. She'd be happy to answer that question for you. Uh, next question, will counselors be checking with students after the mandatory meeting to make sure students continue on track to graduate? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we right now are already starting to track students um, and, and how they're doing and have been pulling them in to have those conversations and warnings. Um, I see Miss Ellens Martin nodding, nodding. She works really closely uh, with the counselors and we're, we do our best to make sure every student um, crosses that finish line at the end. Uh, next question is, um, what do we do if it's raining that day? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> That's a really good question. Um, right now, uh, the plan would be, I could imagine, you know, moving some of it into the North gym, and then we would have to live stream. Uh, we just don't have the space. Um, the issue, we'd actually be able to hold more people in the North gym than we would be able to hold uh, in the, the Performing Arts Center at San Mateo. So that is our like super last resort uh, potential because it'll be loud and, and a little difficult. And, but I, I think I'll put my head together with Miss Ellen's Martin on the super off chance that it's raining. I, I, yeah, that'll, that'll keep me up at night. Um, <laughs> is there a maximum number of extra tickets we can request for the ceremony? Um, yes. So the, the survey, uh, the forum, you'll be able to ask for two more tickets. Uh, what we try to do is honor one additional ticket for every person who's asking before we start looking to honor two ticket requests from families. Um, often we're able to honor all of the requests, but sometimes, um, some depending on how many people are asking for just one extra ticket, we may not be able to, but we will also ask students if there are um, any families who will not be using all of their tickets. So we'll take like one from one family and, you know, add it to another. Will there be chaperones for grad night? <laughs> um, not from this, not in a school capacity. Uh, I think that's that's a fair answer. Um, there, if if there are any school employees uh, who choose to uh, to help with grad night and to be on the buses, there will be adults there. There'll be at least one adult on every bus. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, Miriam. Um, yeah. Uh, but. It's not anywhere. It doesn't look like a school field trip. It's not like a one chaperone to 10 kids. It's a little looser. Yeah, there's, yeah there, we do ask the staff and we have had um, staff that have in years past volunteered to chaperone. Um, and so um, they come and then we've also, last year we had some parents who came and chaperone too. And so with this year, I think our thought is that we might ask um, if we need it, if we can't get enough staff to chaperone, then we will um, ask junior families actually, mm -hmm. um, parents to see if they're willing to chaperone so that, you know, I know, I think most of the kids don't want their parents there. So. Right. <laughs> um, that, that's our plan um, at this point. And everybody who chaperones gets a gift certificate, gets a gift card as a thank you. Um, but we really are just asking the staff, sorry, that's my dog, um, as a favor. And then uh, the last question that I have queued up here is, um, is there any way we can check if we ordered the yearbook? And if we haven't, how do we do that? And so I know Miss Ellens Martin just answered, uh, and there is a, there's an email and I'll pop it into the chat there too. If you're not able to see the answered questions and answers, uh, go ahead and send an email to yearbook at myahs.org. And um, I imagine Mr. Bravo or one of the yearbook students will answer that question for you. I don't have any more questions queued. I think we've hit the majority of the big stuff. I'm gonna stall for just another moment, <laughs> just in case. Okay. So what I will say is um, at the beginning of probably Monday next week, uh, just at the beginning of spring break, um, we will send out a senior letter to all of our families um, that will most likely be posted as, uh, as an item on our website. And it will also be sent out through Parent Square and that so that it can be translated into the language of your choice. So you'll be able to see that. And I'm sure there'll be more questions. Uh, if you're anything like me, like when I'm finally having a quiet moment, a question will pop into my head. Um, so please uh, don't hesitate to, um, to, to ask the questions. And oh, we just got one about the diploma. What day will we receive the diploma? You'll get it at graduation night. Um, so when students cross the stage, they get a diploma cover. 
and then uh, fingers crossed that they've done everything they need to do, they will. Um, they will get their diploma. Um, last year we did it just outside the theater. So they were on their way to change for grad night and then get on the bus and see their families. We'll give the actual location uh, to our students when we see them at that mandatory meeting. But they can I uh -huh. add one thing I completely forgot to mention about grad night. Yeah. So as, as everybody who's purchased tickets and everybody who does purchase ticket in the future, you're going to be getting over the next couple of weeks, um, a DocuSign, which is, um, will be like a, a waiver, um, will kind of the rules for the evening and then a waiver and an emergency contact form. And so that actually needs to be filled out and then it'll be need to be signed by one parent and the student as well. So it's going to go to both of your email addresses using the contact information that was filled in in that Google order form for the ticket. So just make sure, you know, keep your eyes out. We haven't sent them out yet, but I think we're planning on sending them out right after spring break for those who have ordered tickets already. And so that is vital. And the sooner you send that out back, the easier you make our lives yeah. because we're going to be tracking all those. Nobody is going to be allowed to board the bus without those documents in hand. Um, last year, we, I ended up having to turn somebody away and I felt awful but they just couldn't get anybody there and to the parent there to sign for them and I just didn't feel comfortable taking that chance um, and we had no contact information you know if something happened we need to have that so we're going to have all that contact information on every bus for all the students that are on that bus so in case there's an emergency we have somebody to contact so keep your eye out for that if after um, you've bought tickets, you know, you don't get it or you're not, you're not receiving it, please contact us and we'll make sure we have all the correct information for you. Awesome. Uh, we had one more question about uh, like, is the actual diploma handed to kids while they're on their way to change? Just confirming uh, we will have um, a, a diploma pickup station. So when students are ready to pick up their, their diploma um, after the ceremony, they can go and pick it up. Our counselors will be there to distribute them. If your student doesn't pick it up that day, that's okay. They can come uh, the following day later, like after lunch, because we do have um, a staff event first thing in the morning um, on the day after graduation. So we'll make sure we include that in that senior letter as well. Well, all right. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, I don't see any more questions in the Q&A. Uh, I hope I get everything. Um, I will get everything into that senior letter so that you have access to um, the, the items that you were asking about today. I'll make sure that all of these questions are there. And uh, just so you are aware, uh, the boardwalk provides full security. So we'll have people riding on the buses back and forth um, to the event. And then when they get there, there is full security at the event. It's not a free for all. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, we've been told by other schools that have gone that they've been fantastic. So, yeah. um, I think they're, it'll be great. It's good. They do a good job over there. They want our business. They want the, yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Again, um, I'll be posting this to the YouTube channel. So if you have a family that you hear from who's like, I didn't go, I don't know, where's the information? Uh, it is linked to our website and this should be posted there uh, no later than Friday. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a lovely evening.